What's up YouTube? Raya Sunshine here and today we're talking about the do's and don'ts of stripping. Raya Sunshine TV. Oh yeah. So this is just a little list I put together of some do's and don'ts um, to do as strippers. I think it's easy to fall in common pitfalls and do things that just either turn off customers or are not good for you personally. So this is just kind of some of my little tips and tricks and advice. Uh, maybe you're a new stripper or you're thinking about stripping so you might find this useful or maybe you're a veteran stripper and you're like this bitch let me check out this video and see what she's got but yeah <laughs> this is just a little list I put together and let me know if you have anything to add to it so do pump yourself up before work I like to use my getting ready time as like a pump up time. So I'll get ready and I'll like visualize all the things I want to happen. I'll visualize like the ideal customers coming in. I'll visualize just everything like flowing perfectly and easily and like however I like it, kind of pump myself up. Definitely listen to music that you really like and that gets you jazzed and kind of use that time to get yourself excited for work. Don't drink too much that it affects your work and your hustle. Um, you might not want to drink at all. Um, I've worked as a stripper both drinking and sober and the funny thing happened when I stopped drinking I actually started loving working even more. Uh, my eyes were open to all these things that they were closed to before and my hustle game improved like tenfold and it was just awesome. But I mean you can drink if you want it's just up to you but definitely like it's a bell curve with alcohol right like you just you want to get to that good point don't go over the curve don't 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 get too close up there. Do shower and groom yourself before every shift. This one's self-explanatory, but you will be surprised. Don't complain that it's slow. Just don't. Don't do it. Slow nights happen, slow periods happen. Don't complain, it literally is just gonna like halt your momentum and just turn everything sour. Do set a nightly goal for yourself to keep yourself motivated throughout your shift. Don't gossip about other dancers. This can be either to customers or to other dancers about other dancers. Just don't do it. It always comes back to bite you in the ass and like other girls will gossip about you and you just have to hold your head high and be the better person and just sip your lips because karma's a bitch. Do smile. I mean, you don't have to be a super smiley person if you aren't naturally, but try to look like you're enjoying yourself. Hopefully you are enjoying yourself, but definitely like this is kind of a fake it till you make it type thing because the more you seem like you're enjoying yourself, the more customers will be drawn to you. So that will probably make you enjoy yourself even more if they're drawn to you, you start making money, yada yada, it's a nice cycle. Don't worry about the stage. Dancing on stage I think is awesome. I love it, but it's also good to promote yourself. I know a lot of dancers get hung up about performing on stage. Depends on your club. A lot of clubs, the girls don't even really dance on stage, but whatever you do on stage, just make it your own and try to use it to your best advantage. Do try to find the humor in ridiculous situations. Um, yeah, stripping is a one hell of a job. The weirdest shit happens. The people say the weirdest shit, just like absurdity happens. And if you can find the humor in it, it will make your life so much more enjoyable. Don't compare yourself to other girls. Try your best not to compare yourself on your appearance, um, how many customers you've been with that night, um, how much money you're making. It's really hard not to, but you need to just be like focused on yourself. Don't compare yourself it's only gonna bring you down. Do treat working as a stripper as a meditation practice. Stripping is literally like the best Zen practice there is because it's so hard that <laughs> you just have to keep like this mental game going like, all right, you know, it is what it is. People are gonna talk shit. It's just gonna be rough. People are gonna steal your customers. People are gonna be mean to you. People are gonna blow you up. People are gonna like, like make you feel like you're the most like sexy, awesome goddess in the world. And like you get these both sides of these like extreme like highs and lows. And like you just kind of have to like coast in the middle, like take the good from the highs, but like stay humble. And then, you know, like feel like don't really like feel the lows, just let them be, you know, just kind of like float through. It's like literally the most Zen practice 
the most like hardcore zen practice you can get don't break your boundaries just because you think you need to in order to make money definitely need to have strong boundaries don't break them it's okay to have boundaries and it's okay to lose money if you aren't comfortable doing something do have a bag you bring to work of your stripper essentials it's there every time so you know you have it including baby wipes um feminine products spray an extra outfit etc i might do a whole video on what to pack in a stripper bag so let me know if you'd like to hear that don't engage in drama don't gossip and drama don't engage in catty fights between dancers just no drama no drama with customers just stay out of drama do set aside your house fee and your tip out as soon as you make it in the night um this way you made that and then you can know that anything you make outside of that is going to be yours to keep. So a lot of dancers, I'll see them, uh, they'll make their all their money and then they're like, oh, at the end, like, oh, tip out. Oh, I didn't make as much as I thought because I had to tip this percentage out. If you kind of have an idea of how much money you make each night and how much money you should tip out, then you can set it aside in the beginning and then after that, you're just starting fresh at square one and to me it's a lot more motivating to do it that way don't be rude to customers you'd be surprised how many times i've seen girls talk back to customers i've seen girls straight up throw drinks on customers and i mean i'm not saying the customers didn't deserve it but it just because you are a stripper it doesn't mean you can't act professionally and i personally try to always act really professionally i think it's one of my strong suits and i think it has only helped me in my career so i recommend just being as nice as possible to customers even though they can be total assholes sometimes it's true do keep a consistent schedule try to dance on the same nights every week so that regulars can come and find you don't tie your self-worth to how much money you make this one is very hard um it's part of why stripping is so addictive because you have these high highs and these low lows depending on how much money you make you know you can leave the club with like thousands of dollars and you're like on top of the world and you're just like i'm the shit and i think you should enjoy those moments like that's part of the glory of stripping but at the same time when you have a shitty night and you leave with like 60 bucks and you're like all oh, right why am i doing this again i could have made more at like a minimum wage job whatever you know you have to you have to like take it into account you know you have those high high nights you have the low you have the low nights you just can't tie it to your self-worth do make a strategy for slow nights um there's always an optimal way you can be using your time so maybe it feels really slow what could you do you could be um building up your social media if you're playing that hustle you could be um trying to build relationships with other dancers you could be getting to know the staff a little bit um you could be talking to some of the regulars who come in who may not be your customers at the moment but maybe you'll be able to turn them into customers whatever it is think of strategies to do for when it's slow don't complain to customers just don't do it be pleasant do try to remember customers names you can try to do like a name game or i don't know you're like joe likes juggling or whatever it is um you could do it that way i'll try to remember people's names like if i know someone else with that name i'll like link them together in my head whatever it just leaves a really good impression on a customer if you remember their name the second time that being said i have had my fair share of not remembering people's names that I definitely should have remembered and it's extremely embarrassing but it is what it is. Don't approach customers and immediately ask if they'd like a dance. You need to think about every customer you meet as it's a relationship even if it's a short-lived relationship and even if you only like discuss like you know you have like two sentences before the dance comes up that's great but you can't just go up to someone to try to make the sale. It usually pushes people away. Do treat your customer like they are the only person in the room, especially during lap dances. Oh my God, can we stop doing lap dances and like looking around the room and boredom? I mean, I know it happens. I know this stuff does become like sort of mundane because you're doing it all the time, but your customer is there 
with you for an experience and they're going to remember it and you're going to stand out to them if you really devote your energy and your presence to them. They're going to really appreciate that and it honestly makes it a lot more fun for you too. So that's that. There's some of my do's and don'ts for stripping. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I forgot anything glaringly obvious. Maybe I'll do a part two because it could pretty much make endless do's and don'ts of stripping. Um, yeah, let me know if there's any other videos related to this you'd like to see. I'm kind of enjoying doing some more videos geared towards the ladies, so let me know, ladies. Um, dudes, too, you can chime in, of course. But yeah, subscribe if you're new, give the videos a thumbs up, and I will see you next time.